realistic. Detail on it is incredible. Very realistic. When I bank a corner in, it sort of it does go and does slide. And one another go. Yeah, one more. Gives you a bit of a tank slapper on the way out. It feels as, as real as it gets, basically. Sorry, got to concentrate. All the noises and the, the traction, the way the kind of car slips and slides across the surfaces. Good graphics. It's insane. Very good sound. A realistic feeling. The most realistic game I've ever played, to be honest. The realism of Dirt 3 is just amazing. The graphics have come up another level from Dirt 2. The way the cars handle and the way everything looks, it's just incredible. We're working much closer with manufacturers and uh, racing drivers to make sure the physics are as realistic as possible for each and every car in the game. Depending on where you hit it, if you were to impact the car and damage the front, it might actually damage the steering, which will affect the ability to get land forward. In the slide, you'll notice that when you're in a rear-wheel drive car, the rear end will be coming around on you a lot, lot faster, so you'll be required to counter steer. And in a front-wheel drive car, you'll be looking to enter the corner much slower to, to counter off the understeer. And in four-wheel drive, you've got much more traction to be able to handle almost any situation. Without a doubt, the car handling in Dirt 3 is the best it's ever been in Colin McRae games. What we've looked to do is improve the way the weight shifts in the car. It's far more realistic. It transfers that force in much more detailed fashion on the springs, dampers and the tyres. The physics that we've put into the tool this time are much, much more advanced. We're using uh, camber grip, real weight position. You'll be able to feel all of those sort of things when you're running on a steering wheel or a pad in our game as well. You get three tyre types in Dirt 3. You get your snow, your gravel and your tarmac, and then you'll have the option to adjust from there as well. So you can adjust things such as the suspension stiffness, the, the differential stiffness, and your braking force or braking bias. What you'll find is if you drive on something like snow, if you're given a snow tyre, you'll feel the studs really digging into the surface. And provided that you've got the, the right car handling setup, be able to adapt to those sort of surfaces appropriate as well. Using the same car and going on a different surface such as tarmac, you'll find that using a tarmac tire on the tarmac surface is very grippy, almost too much grip and you get quite a lot of twitch out of it as well. So what we do is we give you a, a handling setup to match that as well, so it's lower, stiffer and allows you to make most of all that traction as well. Can. Uh, for Dirt 3, you'll be able to get tyre punctures, which are just slow punctures, and full tyre blowouts as well. We just had Ken over today, he was trying out the Gymkhana car handling in uh, Batsy UK, and he was just commenting exactly how quick it is to react to steering inputs and how adaptable it is to those different tricks as well. I've been working with Chris Meat quite a lot, he's very good with a technical setup, and lots of things that we would never really be able to find out unless we actually talk to him. We've got throttle assists, braking assists, which will help you when you're exiting in the corner and entering a corner. And of course, we've got control over ABS as well. For Dirt 3, there's only one handling model that we use, and we're able to adapt that for any type of car. So, although a rally car might look significantly different from a Gymkhana car, it's all down to the setup, and it's all down to the feedback that we get from drivers such as Ken Block to set that up. Dirt 3 uses a very realistic physics model and we aim to make the cars as realistic as possible. We can grab real world stats and from there we can really modify and alter the character around those figures. There's 400 parameters so we can, we can go on forever just tweaking just to get the best out of the setup. Mind blowing is the first thing that comes to mind. Um, how realistic it is, every element to it, the detail they've been into is just incredible and when I sit down and play Dirt 3 and I get a sweat on and I want more and more and more there must be something pretty good about it because my day job is driving rally cars.